Hi and welcome to WP Video Magic, your simple solution for super fast, dirt cheap video hosting using Amazon Web Services. This is a quick demo to show you just how easy it is to use WP Video Magic. Now we're on the main video shortcodes and categories settings page where you can add new categories and add new video shortcodes. So what we're going to do is click on add new video shortcode and set one up. So here we are on the add new shortcode page. I've already given my new video a name. The next thing is to choose a category that's suitable for this particular video. I'm going to choose affiliate marketing. Now the next thing we need to choose is the source for our video file. So we've got the options of Amazon S3 bucket, CloudFront or YouTube video. If you choose YouTube videos, make sure they're unlisted, not private. Private videos simply won't show up at all. Unlisted is the way to go for YouTube. That way you don't end up with other people's videos being shown over the top of your video. And if you want to use CloudFront but don't have any CloudFront servers set up already, the plugin deals with that for you. There's an option for it in settings which makes it really quick and easy. But in this uh, example, we're actually gonna go with our S3 bucket. Now in Amazon Web Services, you can have as many buckets as you want set up to specify your different categories of content for different purposes. So in this case I'm going to choose my Warrior Plus Tutorials because the video want is in that bucket. Then I simply need to click on the Browse AWS for File and I'll shrink this box down so you can see it. Now this particular bucket only has one video file in it so it's very easy but obviously this would list all the different videos in that bucket. So simply choose the one you want and that will be popped into the files you use for us. Now we also have some extra options below so let's scroll down and have a look at those. We do have the option for auto buffer. Now that will simply start loading the video as soon as the page starts loading so it's quicker to play when someone clicks on play. Now there's also the option to auto play Obviously, if you're going to use this, make sure that you're not having that set as yes on several videos on the same page. It can get rather noisy. And you've got the option for show player controls. One point with the auto player, that is browser dependent. Not all browsers allow auto play anymore. Then you have the option to upload your own thumbnail image rather than using the default for the video. You can also set your width and height for the video and we've got a special option for video events. Now this simply allows you to add a call to action that appears after a certain number of seconds that the video has been playing and it's a great way to actually make sure someone takes action and does what you want for the video. So in this case let's have it appear after five seconds of the video playing. Then we simply click on save changes and that's our new video shortcode set up. Then we can head over to a blog post to have a look at how to add one of those video codes into the post. Now you'll notice in this blog post I've got a little placeholder for where I want the video to appear. So I'm, all I'm going to do is highlight that and then look for the WP Video Magic icon up here. Click on this and it will bring up a list of all the different videos that we have in WP Video Magic. You don't need to remember what the different shortcodes for the different videos are. So we simply choose the video we want and click on insert shortcode to pop that into our blog post. Then click on update to make sure that's now going to appear on the live blog post. Okay, so I'm now on the live published blog post and you can see where I had that video placeholder little code or snippet. Now all I'm going to do is hit Control F5 to refresh this blog post and it will pull that video in. It will take a second or two to update. There we go. Right, it's pulled the video in. And I'm going to video... switch off the autoplay, switch off the sound on the autoplay. And you can see if we keep waiting a few more seconds, the call to action will appear below the video. So there we've got a call to action as well. So that's basically it. That's how quick and easy it is with WP Video Magic to host your own videos on Amazon Web Services, which is really quick and cheap to use, so you no longer need expensive video hosting. Thanks for watching. Please scroll down and grab your copy of WP Video Magic today, and I'll see you on the inside.